you would not believe what we were not discussing. We were discussing something. Uh, yeah, that's right. The show. But you wouldn't believe what we were, you wouldn't not believe what we were not Just discussing. Yeah, that's those right. Double negatives. Oh my god. Share yeah, the show, and yeah. while you share the show, yeah, welcome to uh, welcome to uh, free. Revenue go to freenevel.com. Bang bang. Oh, sorry. No, first of all, feel a real fun episode number six eight seven. Something like that. Yeah. Six eight seven. You uh, do you know the secret reason why so many people deny uh, themselves uh, of their desire? That's yeah. what the show's uh, on. I just posted it. So go to freedevil.com. <laughs> oh well, don't worry. <laughs> don't yeah. post it in Cass yeah. Group. <laughs> go to freedevil.com. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. And for refunds, Keith. go hey, to feelitrealfun.com. Oh my god, this is so cool. Hello, Keith. Yes, we're just talking about whiskey. We get to actually see real people. This is. Tell you what, because that's Keith with whiskey. Yeah. Yes. I'm really lost, guys, because we totally reorganized our day. We go to the dog park at 7.30 yes. to 8.45 starting tomorrow. Yes. But and, but we went from 7.30 to 8.30 today, and all the shops were closed. And yeah. being a no, people, people were, sorter, sorry. like, uh, I saw almost nobody. I know. So I'm cranky. He's sad. He and loves And cranky. People. I do. <laughs> I, so I, I'm yeah. just like, I've been, like, lost. Like, I come back out from the shops. There's no Trudy, <laughs> no Mitch. Uh, none of the lovely people in the health food shop. I know. Little Miss Bestile. All gone, gone. All gone, gone. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So Hello. please excuse me today Patty. if I seem a little sad, but I'm glad that you're here, Patty. Yeah. And Amber. Yes. And Keith. Keith. That's right. Is there only three people? There's seven people, but some There's people, people. have <coughs> missed or, and then they haven't said hello. Yeah, they will. Okay. So I've done all the, uh, and for refunds, go to feel it real oh, Hello, yummy ass. Yes. here. I was just talking about the, <coughs> the joys of being a people sorter when you go to the shops way too early. <laughs> and no one's there for him. Yeah. It's, it's just <laughs> not good, guys. He's hello, Ivana. Not good. Jack and Spin Vortex. is here. Oh, hello. Ivana. John. <laughs> hello, Super John. Hi, haven't buddy. seen you in a bit. <laughs> oh, Yasmin Maxwell again. Yes. <laughs> so, That's it. Twice. Okay. All right, so yes. Victoria's going to read a little bit because we're going to cover the secret reason today why so many people deny their desires. Right. All right, my dog's eating my Hello, dog. Hello, Vicky. Right. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> okay. I put a little comment on your so, comment a few minutes ago. You like 13 minutes ago. 13 minutes right. ago. <laughs> Graciela. Hello from Argentina. Argentina. Hello, Graciela. All right. So, so now... This, now is this is all from the lecture? The one greater than John. And you yeah. know the one we were talking about yesterday? This that, is actually uh, going to be the one greater than John week. Yeah. Now, yesterday's show sort of sucked, Nant. It did I, a little bit. Because, because I couldn't read the all just iPad screen and, and everything else. But today's show is going to be just lovely. Yeah, it's going to be a lovely show uh, today. Nasha. Hello, Nasha. All right. So, now let me share with you my own personal experience. This, this is, is from Neville, Neville talking. or you. All yeah. right. I left Barbados, yes, I guess it was, <laughs> at the age of 17 and came to America, believing as I did everything placed before me that was edible was right. Yeah, you gotta quit hitting the microphone. Sorry. All right, so. Yes. Here's what's cool, guys. Hello, guys. Neville left Barbados, believing yep. that eating anything was okay. Yes. Everybody wants to be in the video. Can't yes, that's it. right. Love you. And then I fell into a state the state called John. This is important. Neville yes. fell into a state, right? Yes, fell into it. Now, we'll get back to that later. John came not, not eating or drinking, and then I fell into the state where I gave up all the things that I did normally as a boy, right through until I was 17 years old. All right? Yes. Now, get this. Mm -hmm. Neville, stir, stu, he's starting stu, he's starting stuffing, doing what he desired. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh it's old Nashu. Gotcha. Okay. Right, you've changed your name. <laughs> right. We won't tell everyone. Okay, All cool. Right. <laughs> I fell into the state at the age of 20, a little after 20, say 21. <laughs> he gets so like, <laughs> he gets like Raymond Reddington like you. Anyway. <laughs> I love Raymond Reddington. <laughs> um, yes, where I would not eat any meat. Any fish, fowl, not even eggs. Unbelievable. Total vegan. Can you believe that? I did violence to my own appetites because as a child, as a boy, I indulged in everything that my father placed before me. And suddenly I gave it all up. And for seven years I was a strict vegetarian, teetotaler and celibate. All right. So, you know the whole celibate thing, right? Yes. So a long time ago, scripture was handed down from like one scribe to the next and they'd carefully rescribe, right? Uh, and what happened was, at one point, one of the scribes got it. It wasn't celibate, it was celebrate. 
Oh. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Bad joke. Okay. I don't think it's so. It's like Invisible Rashid, but that's yes. also true. John represents that state in man's ongoing where he does violence to his appetite. And yet life is nothing more than the appeasement of hunger. Isn't that lovely? That's lovely. Absolutely. Yeah. God gives to every man in this world a hunger that he can, if he knows God's law, satisfy. All right, so let's get into the how-tos, guys. This is going to be fun. Take out your notebooks, write down some notes, <laughs> put it in the comments. Are yes. you ready? Because ready. now it's TT note time. Note oh, my time. God. So yes. here's what I want for you today. Right. 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 Number one, I want you to know the law. Mm-hmm. Okay. The law is you know, the manifesting side, right? I want you to know how this works by doing it. I don't want you to know about it. Right, because I mean, like we put three tools in the toolbox. There's, you know, a Graves Good, Graves Good Day method, coffee game. A lot of people know all about this stuff, and they can quote Neville doing it. much, but yeah, but they're not doing it. Yes. Right. There's one thing where, like, you can know about this fellow named Richard Branson. Hmm. Right. Fun guy. Fun guy. Right. But do you know? <laughs> no. There's a difference. So yes. somebody out there might. Right. Yes. But here's we the don't. thing: to know, there's knowing about it, the law. Yep. I know what I feel will become real, yeah, so on. But play constantly. Yes. Okay. Now here's the question, guys. Yes. Why is it that, that most people don't play constantly? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Bum, bum, what is bum, the bum, secret bum, reason? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, why yeah, we I'm do sorry. whatever it was to our desires. So in this lecture, one greater than John, about a third of it's devoted to the promise. In other words, waking up and noticing who you are. All right, so there's two sides to this, who you are and how this works, Jerry. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. Nice to see you, pal. Why would... This lecture begins with Neville saying this will be a most practical night, and one third of it is about the promise, right? Hmm, something to think about. Now, the ultimate <laughs> hunger... Uh, I was just on a coaching call this morning. Yes. And I was talking about my ultimate hunger being the hunger for truth. When I really, really, really dove into this stuff, it was because I had a hunger for truth. Hey, Amy, how are you? Nice to see you. (laughs) You're out west, right? So if you get back east, give your mom a hug. So here's the deal from me. Yes. So if one third of this lecture is about the promise, and this is supposed to be an extremely practical lecture, okay, there's some connections that I make. Ready? The best way to deny who you are is to deny yourself of your desires, right? How could you do that? Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, you can have all these belief systems. It's better to be poor because the poor shall inherit the something. Or you yeah, can imagine... I can imagine it. I can see all the reasons why we do it. But what's... I mean, not why. I can see all the reasons how we can do that. Right? All the ways we but can. what's the why? What's the why? The that? ultimate why, Tim... From right up the road, I Hello, believe. Tim. That's right. So the ultimate why is this. It's, it, if you deny who you are, you get to be small and separate and hope you get to go to the heaven someday just like everyone else. But why do we want to do that? Well, because when... See, as long as we all believe the power is out there and the bad things happen to oh, us... Oh, that it's not, and, it's not our fault. It's not our fault or that something... You know what? See, I, I, I years ago... I was picking on the vegan thing yesterday a little bit. I'll do it again today. <laughs> so yes. year, years ago, I was a vegetarian for two years. And I ended up going to this seminar. It was how to rub two sticks together and do all sorts of cool things naked in the woods seminar. And believe it or not, in a group of 20 people, there were other people that were vegetarians, right? And, and they were talking about how cool it is to be a vegetarian because you're better than other people and so on. And all the judgmentalism. And it's like, I just don't feel like eating meat, pal. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not into the ethics, the morals. The, the, you know, you're more spiritual. You have a higher vibration if you don't eat meat. I don't give a shit. I just don't feel like eating meat. Right? Something different there. But here's the thing. If you believe you can get closer to what you are to, by doing something physical, or you don't really want to discover who and what you are, because if you do, then you have to admit, like, uh, all this stuff is just weird. It's all your fault. It's all your <laughs> fault. Yeah. Uh, well, what's the best way to pretend it's not all your fault? Blame something else. Yeah, blame something else. Yeah, right. something out there. So find a, re- find a reason why you can't have your desires. So you do violence to your desires. Oh, you know, I'm better off since I don't have my desires. I'm better off since I don't do what I want to do. I'm a better person. All that crazy stuff. Mm. And here's the thing. If I woke up tomorrow 
and felt like not eating meat, I wouldn't, right? But the thing is, I like flesh. I like eating it, grabbing it, chasing it, looking at it. <laughs> I was telling Victoria about the, about the show. I can see your flesh, right? I like flesh. You I mean, let's, say that. Yeah. And it's, is it true? Do I like flesh? Yes. I do, right? It's he loves it. yummy, right? So here's the thing. Why do you deny yourself your desires? As far as I can tell, there's only one reason, because you want to deny who and what you are. If you're willing to discover who and what you are, through doing this, you get to discover who you are and how this works by playing with the tools. But so many people don't want to. Oh my God. Oh, then well, what about grandma? What will she think? I don't care. Grandma will wake up next radio if she doesn't wake up this radio. But oh. you staying asleep doesn't help anyone. Vicky says, Vicky Flogger says, yes. this idea applies to whatever you eat or spend or explore. Yes, indeedy. Boom. Indeedy. So here's what's cool. Yes. Vicky Flogger's like me. She's a photographer, except she's probably better than me. But let's not tell her. Yeah, no. Right? <laughs> the camera doesn't make the photographer. The photographer... Makes the photographer. Makes the, makes Takes the photo. Yeah. Right? The photographer makes the photographer the photographer. Yeah. But if you blame it on the camera... Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having two or three more Sony A6000s, right? Just to have them all <laughs> set up, configured differently, hanging off. Different lenses. I mean, I'd be the cool guy <laughs> with two or three, right? Yeah. But it wouldn't. having three cameras doesn't make me a better photographer. Mm. Having three cameras makes it easier to take photos, maybe. Yes. Right? Having three tools doesn't make you better at this. You get it? Having three tools just gives you more options right away. But it's you that plays with them all. It's you that moves. You're what moves everything, and when you move everything that needs to, moves. Hmm. Right. So, yes. does anybody want homework, Victoria? Yeah, I think everyone does. All right, <laughs> homework. Number one, stop denying who you are and what you want. Oh, my God. How would we do that, Victoria? Kathleen, welcome to the show. You do it by accepting, keyword here, into your life what you want, and that's how you discover who you are. Da, 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 Cool. Accepting, surrendering to. All right. I think that's pretty good. Any questions? Any comments? Vicky said, "Yep, yep, and yep." No homework. <laughs> no, no homework I'm for Jerry. No. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll just send you more gifs today, pal. Just, <laughs> I've got a few minutes here and there. Right. So cool. say that again by accepting. By accept. So stop denying who you are and what you want. To me, they go hand in hand. Susie, mm. you're late. It's Unbelievable. Easy. I can't believe you're late. <laughs> After the rough morning that I've had. I've had a horrible morning. Yeah, yeah look how horrible my morning yeah. was. I was upset. You were but upset. It, but it doesn't mean like I'm dying just, or something. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I just get sad. Because you saw some people at Dog Park, but you like just seeing everyone everywhere. I like seeing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's true. I oh, know. All right, so homework. Stop denying who you are and what you want. Those go hand in hand. Okay, by accepting into your life what you want, because that's how you discover what you are. I'll put that up in the notes because cool. it's just too good. So, Victoria, yes, talk to him. Well, I guess that's it for the show. <laughs> so it was on. It's on the state anyway, of John. So, so since I am losing weight you and are. getting fitter, yes, right? He is. So we have to document this because I didn't take any like uh, less than snazzy photos. Right. All right. Or take measurements. Right, right, so what we want you Whoa. to do, <laughs> that I am someone <laughs> who X because I know the laws and follow the process. So Vicky Flogger's doing it. She's yes. doing it. That's right. Yes. Yasmin yes, Maxwell. Okay. Yeah, surrender. what we want you to do is type in below what That's you right. learn, what you learn about you, and what was your best bit. Type that in. That's right. Or to the side sometimes when we watch. Yeah, it depends. Anyway, meanwhile, go to freenovel.com. That's right. Go there. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's like, right. Who did last night? Who did Anyone? last night? <laughs> now we had at least one. <laughs> I got to remember so I can just call her. Yeah, it would be good. <laughs> anyway, and mm. for refunds, go to feelitrealfun.com. Mm, we can't right. even visit the dog park at that time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we're working on it. Right? Yeah, well. So you can do some things like like put little give the mini Maxwell's maps. All right, <laughs> send them in. Anyway, all right. La, Me la, 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 to la, la, losing la. weight. Yep. Me too. All right. That's cool. right. Good one. Da, da. I look like John Travolta in the in the chin area. Really? 
Oh, I see. He doesn't have that thing, though, that John Travolta does. That's right. He's got, like, a, a but line. But I tell you, I can strut. What's that chin <laughs> called when you've got, like... I don't know. Uh, what do they call it? Scientology chin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, all right. Think about it. Tom Cruise has it as well. Does he? Yeah, and they're both Scientologists. Not as bad as John. So you tell me, yeah, that's, that's where they put the Scientology <laughs> implant? <laughs> The implant. I am a Scientology robot. I, 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 I can offend people all day long. I'm just so good at this. Okay. All right, all right you guys. We're going to go. Hey, have th- a great day and Thanks nights. for being here, guys. We love you guys. Have a lovely day. Good I've on you, Vicky. What to learn. Two more calls today. Oh, my God. It's yeah. going to be... Oh, Jerry says, oh, snap. Plus a swim. You, you do look like John Travolta. Hmm. Cleft chin. Cleft. That's it. Yeah, that's where they put the implant. Yeah. Is it cleft? I don't know. You can have a cleft palate. Maybe it's a cleft chin. I don't know. No. Jerry, Jerry would know. He Jerry would know. <laughs> brilliant. And cool. you got to, you to see him in Victoria's dressing gown. <laughs> Scientology cleft. It's the Scientology cleft. That's uh, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you come on the show tomorrow with one, I'm going to be going, what's going uh, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> We're stopping, Neville. We're starting <laughs> something else. <laughs> nah. Okay. Oh, yeah, Catch you in 24 right hours. To- you got to watch the Cape May episode followed by the next one. All right? Really pay close Black attention. List. That's right. <laughs> yes. yeah, the lady at the thing yesterday knew all about that.